Breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Listening, part one. Heard or seen. Although sight may be the one sense perception virtually all of us depend upon in helping us to further perceive and even make sense of the world around us, sound, or more specifically, the ability to hear and listen, especially what others say to or about us, is perhaps equally as critical because one's physical and or psychological sense of survival may invariably depend upon another's words and the tones they are spoken in far more than their implied or actual visual actions. Listening and hearing. Ideally, Listening devotes nearly all conscious attention to whoever is speaking, focusing upon their words, tones, intonations, gestures, facial expressions, body movements, and more. In essence, immersing ourselves into their reality. While hearing simply means we are, the mind is, receiving sound input yet our conscious attention is likely elsewhere, usually in formulating responses or reactions to those speaking, and thus, really far from truly listening at all. Interesting. One's ability and even willingness to listen to others depends greatly upon what actually interests us, or, more specifically, which subpersonalities stand to benefit from what others have to offer. And should none of our subpersonalities become piqued, then we are just hearing another human being speak. A not-so-good talking to. Although others are unable to hear our thoughts, the body itself nonetheless listens to every word and will ultimately take action corresponding to such thoughts or themes, especially if repeated over time. Therefore, should any of us experience physical and or psychological pain, as well as illness or disease of unknown origin, perhaps critical to contemplate is, what have we been telling ourselves for possibly our whole life? 